Do not share your plans, uh, whatever you are working on, and your successes with anyone. Well, maybe with your partner, maybe with someone that you are really tight with. Not just like, oh, yeah, I, I know they wouldn't say anything, or I know they wouldn't share this with anyone. No, it has to be someone that you know exactly that they are here for you, they have been here for you for a long time, and they have encouraged you, they have supported you, and they have um, allowed you to flourish, and they even gave you uh, all kinds of words and actions of encouragement for you to flourish and do better decisions in your life, right? So only with that person, with the person, if not, do not share with anyone whatever you are working on and your successes, right? Um, and, you know, I'm guilty of this and that's, that's why I want to make this video for all of you that have the, you know, have the, the real, like, want to share with anyone who you find, you know, your your friend your friends or your family your co-workers whatever there's a conversation going on and you see a good time to say whatever you are working on you say it and if you notice if you do that again i'm guilty of this you know uh, and i'm improving every day on this and i think i i i've improved quite a lot uh, in comparison to um you know a year ago you know, so when you, you notice that when you share your goals and your plans, whatever you are doing, or even your successes, whatever you have won from doing something with someone that is not really like really there, is like here and there, they're just like, oh yeah, mm, nice, mm, okay, you know, or don't care, or do not, uh, or like are really confrontational and like you are trying to, <clears throat> you say those things to prove to them that you are successful and not what they think you are. Or they think, oh, they, they ain't doing shit, you know, they ain't doing shit with their life. And you are like trying to prove to them, oh, yeah, I'm doing, you know, I did this and that and this and the third. And that will just put more fire into the fire. You're just putting more logs into the fire and you just basically... Uh, making things worse because those people don't really care. You know, if they did, they, they would see and they would support the things that you do. They would be interested. They would be, uh, you know, if it's on the internet, they will be commenting. They would be following you. They would be liking your shit. They would be, you know, giving you input and be like, oh yeah, girl, you go, you fucking rocking. I love what you do. Or being like, you know, constructive criticism, but... If criticism comes ungranted and criticism comes from a person that never been supporting you, that's a hater in, you know, the most literal and basic sense, someone that really doesn't have their own thing and they really wanted to do what you're doing and they really wanted to have a platform or a mind like you do, but they don't. So they're trying to, you know, pull you down, do something else for you to get distracted. But... Uh, what I was talking about is when you, you notice that when you share uh, your plans, your goals, your successes with those type of people and with just anyone that is not really like they are there, but it's not like they are every day with you here, there, like a partner. Like if you are with a partner, you know that they are always there. You can always talk to them. They will always give you constructive criticism. They always give you praise. Whenever it is important, they will always help you out in here and there and all of that. And they will let you flourish uh, in the most literal sense. You will, They will just look at you and they will admire you the same way that you admire them and you will uh, encourage them and all of that, right? So you notice that uh, whenever you are sharing your successes with other people or your plans, that the energy... Um, <clears throat> sometimes gets too mixed, right? Let's not... Uh, I will start from the lightest scenario to the worst case scenarios, which involve like haters and all of that, right? So 
from the light scenario, just, you know, they're like, yeah, nice. Uh, have you thought about this? You know, because usually, mainly, right? Why would you say your plans and your successes to someone? It's not just for them to, you know, look at you with a blank stare, right? It's not like you are talking to the camera. And even when you're talking to the camera, you're still like, you know, people will watch you, you know, you know, people will take something from it and respond to you in the best case scenarios. So you are telling someone your successes or your plans for some form of feedback. So you have to take responsibility and accountability that those people will tell you something about it. You know, oh, really? And what is this? What is that? Have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? And that is already muddying the waters for the plans that you have going on. Uh, the same way when successes and you have like, uh, you are sharing your success about something, instead of um, you telling them, oh, you know, I, get, I, I got a million followers there or whatever it is, uh, ungranted shit, you know, you let your success speak for itself. You have your page, you have the things that you have, and you don't talk, you don't brag, you don't say shit to people that have nothing really to do with it. You know, they, they didn't really, uh, they weren't there like, like that, like your partner, for example, right? So you have to really siphon up whatever it is that you might be showing. And the things that you are, the plans and your successes that have already been accomplished and the things that have already been uh, published, right? Like a book, you, instead of telling, oh, I, I wrote a book or I'm writing a book, you just, you publishing a book and you publishing that on your social media and all of that shit is already enough for the people that are really into you and really with you, fucking with you, you know, they will know, they will support you and they will be there, you know. Obviously, you might say, oh, listen, I published, um, you know, I published a book. Uh, do you want to, you know, just just let them know. But it's nothing like, oh, yeah, you know, I published a book and all of this and all of that. And they're really like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay, okay. What will you eat for tomorrow, Jessica? You know, like... They are not really there for that. So the people that want to support you, they will. And they will find you, they will see that, They all of that. You know, they will ask you, oh, uh, so w what's up? You know, uh, is there, w what you doing? Like, I want to support you and whatever. And you go, oh, yeah, you know, I have a book. If you want to support me in that way, obviously. But never say, I'm working on a book. Because that's just like, uh, oh, about what? And now you have to explain yourself. Now you, uh, there will be a lot of consequences and uh, entanglements and waters a little bit more muddied. But that's like, in the best case scenarios, people just want to know, they want to see and whatever. And you have to be more discreet with the things that you say. But obviously, because uh, they, you know, they just like... Uh, Curious and people that again they want to support you, they will find you, they will see whatever you have, and they will support you. Now, uh, going to less um, great scenarios, and that's why you do not share your stuff mainly with others and your successes and your goals and your plans is because you don't know if a person is insecure, right? Obviously, everybody has their own insecurities and there will be times where you think a person is chill and usually people don't share their insecurities like that. They, um, you know, they show them subconsciously in, in different ways. Dots don't connect. Certain things that they say, certain things that they repeat will make you think, okay, this person seems to be insecure about this, but other people are very good at hiding it and uh, many people are just not conscious of their insecurities so they will just act on them without even seeing that uh, that's something that they are insecure about so obviously you do not want to share your plans and your successes with people that you don't really know about any like insecurity that they might have you're not really close to them at all and because they might really perturb and muddy your waters without knowing that they are doing so 
because they don't don't even know they have those insecurities, right? So they will, uh, you know, first give maybe a smirk or be like a little more negative and or like show that they don't really care about it. And that in itself can muddy the waters. Worst case scenario is someone that uh, you you might not know or you might not know that they are uh, very insecure about whatever you are doing, but they are ins but their insecurity comes from them wanting to do something like you are doing or them wanting to be successful, them wanting to be doing something besides their nine to five, and they ain't doing that. And you sharing something with them in uh, in some cases, as I said, you wanting to prove to them that you are doing something with your life, like your parents or someone that, for example, in your family that is just like always pushing you to tell them all, all everything that you are doing and are you going to do something with your life already and shit like that. Um, those are the last people you want to share the things that you are doing and working on because they will muddy the water so much that uh, sometimes your blessings might not even come, you know, and things might come uh, very late, things might be muddied very much. And that's mainly where the evil eye comes from. Yeah, everybody knows the what is the what is the evil eye. Many look at it as very superstitious, and it's somewhat it, it somewhat is superstitious because um, it's something that exceeds and is beyond the conscious. It is beyond the surface, and it's something that is not only someone giving you their feedback or their hate or saying, "Oh, I don't think you should do that." Like, I don't know why you're doing this. I, I think people will talk shit about you because you did this and all that. Or people will not support you here. Or you will not get money here. Uh, you have to go for a real job to do this and to do that and to have money and all of that. You, st you should stop doing your videos. You should stop doing your art and all of that, you know. And they don't really have a constructive criticism for you. And they never did have anything really good to say about you. It's just, ah, oh, you know, I don't think you should be doing this. And that all comes from their own insecurities. But that is the surface, right? The evil eye really is something that is beneath the surface and uh, is someone actively, they might even be doing this subconsciously, but it is active. It is a pattern because if it wasn't a pattern, it wouldn't accumulate to such a degree where someone gets ill, for example, you know, because I saw some people getting real like uh, um, skin deficiencies and stuff like that out of evil eye, you know, because they are sharing too much of their stuff to people that really don't want them to succeed because of their own insecurities. So you sharing stuff with someone that really doesn't want you to succeed because of their own insecurities or they don't really they really don't like you but they show that they do or whatever just for you to share shit with them the evil eye is something be beneath the surface and it's an active um hate towards your successes hate towards the work you do and hate towards the success you have so the people that you share your stuff with, you might not even know that some of them, not all, obviously not. As as I said, like in the first examples, so, some people are just like, okay, chill, you know, they have their own inputs to say. But the last scenario that I told you about is people that are actively trying to um, berate you or uh, make you smaller to them so they don't see, so they don't feel so insecure about whatever you are showing, whatever you are saying. So everything you say, anything you say, all of your successes will not be enough for them. So because they want you to feel 
inferior. They want you to feel bad about what you are doing. And that is the main reason as to why you should not, if you want to be successful, obviously, if you want to be, uh, have success in the thing, in, in the things that you are doing, um, you cannot be sharing your plans and the things that you want to do for the future, the things that you are planning and working on currently and your successes to people because those things um, might be triggers to a lot of people uh, that are really insecure within themselves and haven't resolved them yet. You know, it might not be, uh, it, it's not your fault that you are successful or that you are working on this and that and you have all these plans, but it is their fault for not uh, working through their insecurities. So for you to prevent your plans and your successes to exist and to prosper properly, if you want to prevent things, uh, if you want to prevent the uh, muddied waters, you have to keep things private until it is public and anybody can buy it, support it, criticize it, hate it, whatever. They can hate it. That's all fine. You know, it's not, it's not against you preventing hate because it will always happen. Whatever you do, wherever you are, any kind of person might hate you for something. Uh, again, uh, they might not agree with you or they might just be jealous and insecure about themselves. So they want to put you down and, uh, you know, have some pleasure in you not doing whatever they wanted to be doing instead. Right. So I hope this was helpful. Um, maybe I will develop on this better soon, but I think this was quite, uh, you know, somewhat concise and somewhat explaining why I think it's important for you to keep your life private uh, and your, especially your plans and your goals and your successes. Uh, because if you want to be successful in the things that you are doing, you have to keep some form of privacy and um, avail for people that are might be working against you in the shadows to not see the, those processes and just hate you whenever it is published. Fuck it. Let them hate it. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. You know, it will not affect your life if they hating you and whatever. It will not affect your life like that. Uh, the most important is you preventing those plans from not even being accomplished. You prevent it by keeping it private and not uh, letting anyone know before it's time for it to be revealed. Right? Things stay in the kitchen until it is presented in the... Uh, you know, in the, in the dining room, right? So I will see you all very soon. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to check out my Instagram. I do sculptures, I do paintings. If you want anything from me, make sure to DM me and we will do anything custom just for you. Bye-bye.